come let us experience god's love welcome to the fifth day of our journey from wilderness to calvary my dear dearly beloved of god very often we heard in the bible love your god and love your neighbor but very few times we have paid heed to these words of jesus abide in my love in other words soak yourself in the love of god just as we put a sponge in the water and it grabs all the water in a similar way when we squeeze squeeze it it gives out all the water in the same way when we experience the love of god when we soak ourselves into the love of god and we give out the same thing in return to others and that's why in the gospel of matthew chapter 12 verses 34 jesus tells us out of abundance of heart mouth speaks my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus i am sure every one of us have a water tank in our houses when you fill the water tank with the fresh water and when you open the tap you get the fresh water when you fill the water tank with the dirty water and you open the tap and you get the dirty water in a similar way when you fill yourselves with the power of god when you fill yourself with the love of god and you exhibit the same outside in our words in our deeds in our thinking in our saying whatever we do we only say good because we are filled with the love of god my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus in today's first reading taken from the first letter of peter chapter 5 verses 1 to 4 we hear peter speaking from the abundance of his heart a love that was being poured into his heart of the love of jesus that is poured into his heart and he gives that love to his fellow brethren telling the shepherds telling the leaders my dear shepherds please take care of your flock be exemplary to your flock my dear brothers and sisters st peter was a lost sheep he was lost when jesus was with him when he was walking along with jesus as long as jesus stayed in this world peter did not realize the love of jesus and that's why he went astray he has betrayed jesus thrice but knowing that peter would betray jesus he washed his feet knowing that he would go back to his profession of fishing jesus washed his feet in a way peter was a wavering man who went astray from god even after constant reminders that jesus gave him telling him peter you are going to take care of the flock that is going to be entrusted to you after i leave this world and that's why in today's gospel jesus says peter you are peter on this rock i will build my church i give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven a great authority a power is given to him but peter did not realize it until jesus was in the world but once jesus died he got resurrected and appeared to peter and told peter peter come back to fish for the people and there he realized and he experienced god and therefore with the same experience with the love that he has received he went into the world to give and reflect the love of god to the people my dear brothers and sisters jesus says in the gospel of matthew in the gospel of luke chapter 15 verses 3 to 7 a good shepherd leaves 99 sheep aside and goes in search of the one which is lost jesus came in search of the lost today if you and i are lost like like peter jesus comes in search of us this lent is a time an occasion to come back to god to experience love of god to be soaked in the love of god so that we reflect the same love to others 
let us be washed and allow Jesus to wash our complete self, our foot like Peter. And may we also reflect the love as Peter reflected to his fellow brethren. My dear brothers and sisters, if you are inspired by this little small piece of reflection, kindly like, share and give your comments. Also, try to promote this channel by contributing rupees 5 to our brother Vijay, who is carrying out this mission of spreading the word throughout the world. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful day.